Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Magic. I'm having a great day. I hope you're having a wonderful day as well. In today's episode, what I'd like to do is I would really like to get this basic regeneration spell going. I think that would be very beneficial for us, especially since we're kind of getting a little bit further into blood magic. Uh, and the ability to regenerate our health would be really, really, really good. That would be very, very useful for us. So, yeah, I think that's going to be our, our big goal for the day. Now, in order to make this thing, I need essence. I need 500 neutral essence. And according to this thingamabob, it says that I can create neutral ethereum by burning Vintium Dust or Liquid Ethereum inside of an obelisk. So, I think what I need to do is, first I need to put down the obelisk. We'll just put it right here. Okay. And then I think I take this guy. Oh. And I connect it to that. Um, maybe. Aha! Pairing successful. Awesome. I'm such a professional at Ars Magica. You don't even know. And <laughs> okay, so we've got that bound. Magic Deck Staff and the Goggles will reveal the amount of Ethereum inside the blocks, and it said we needed to burn Vintium Dust. Okay, I know I've got a bunch of Vintium Dust, or at least I've got a bunch of Vintium. I don't know if it's all actually turned into dust at this point. But I think it is. Yeah, I've got a bunch of it right here. So let's burn this stuff. Let's put on our let's put on our goggles and our staffy thing. And let's just take a look. Will this tell us how much is in here? If I aha none. Okay, so I right click with that and it does nothing. Let's burn some of this. Oh wow, that that burns very quickly. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so we can take that out. That holds quite a lot. Wow, I did not expect that to generate that quickly. Okay, cool. So that's all good. Now, how do I transfer that? In order to transfer, you must bind it. Or the cra In order to use the Ethereum in the crafting altar, ensure that the source is linked and flip the lever. Aha. Okay. So I think all I need to do is flip the lever. I think it's good. We'll, we'll leave it off. And I think I'm pretty much ready to make this thing. Now, there is one other thingamabob in this regen recipe that I didn't recognize. It's the, the lesser focus. That I'm not really sure of either. So let's take a look. Focus. I think it was this one. Okay, that's actually really easy. Um, it is glass and gold nuggets. Piece of cake. I've, I can do that. All right, there we go. So we've got one of those things as well. And then let's just check our recipes. We need a blank rune and a blue rune. So I can go ahead and make those right away. There we go. Throw you in here. Need a piece of lapis. To make a blue rune, there we go. I need an aum, which is one of those flower things. Uh, which one is it, though? This one. There we go. I need one of those. I need Vintium Dust, which I have. I need a blue... Okay, Golden Apple. That's the last thing that I need. Do I have any Golden Apples? I don't know that I actually do, uh, but we can make one, so it's fine. Let's just make one. There we go. Okay. So I think I'm pretty sure that should be everything I need to make this thing. I hope. If not, this is going to fail miserably. But we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. Let's see if we can make ourselves a regen spell. Uh, so first and foremost, I need that. No, no. Ship. There we go. We need that. And then we'll throw the blank rune. It needs the alm. It needs 
the Vintium Dust. It needs the Lesser Focus. That's the Essence. Oh, oh yep, keep, keep transferring? Is it? Aha! Okay, so that worked. Golden Apple, Spell Parchment, and we have the Regen Spell. And we definitely want to give this thing a nifty um, icon of some sort. What would be a good healing type icon thing? Ah, hearts. Beautiful. We'll call this Basic Regen. Sure. Works for me. So let's try this out. Okay, uses a decent amount of our mana, and then it gives us regeneration for, it looks like, 10 seconds or so. Not long enough to completely regenerate my mana that I used, but enough that it, it works. I mean, that will definitely help us out as far as um, blood magic goes. Like, without a doubt, that's going to be helpful for us. So, let me get some stuff together here, guys. Let me get organized a little bit, and I'll come right back to you. All right, guys, I am back, and I have been busy. I have been gone for actually quite a while. I've probably played for another, oh, 40 minutes or so. I did a little bit of mining, and I worked on making a whole bunch of these slates so we can upgrade our blood altar to the next level. Now, these things, they take a while. They take, oh, no, that was a waste of... They take quite a while... Um, even with regen and everything like that, because you need to do them individually, at least as far as I can tell, um, which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, um, I'm not going to do all of them with this, with upgraded runes, like that would be nice, but it would just, it just takes, it, it just takes so long. It'll take more than I have, more time than I have time for. Um, so, although... You know what we could... Well, that wouldn't really make a difference. Yeah, this is fine. We'll do it We'll do it this way. This is fine. Um, let's use our regen spell one more time. And let's get this guy filled up to over 2,000, and we'll make one more of these reinforced slates. That'll give us five new runes of self-sacrifice, and I think that's what I'm going to pump, is the runes of self-sacrifice, because I don't think I'm... I don't really feel like making a mob grinder. Um, like a big fancy one in the sky or anything like that to supply the blood altar with a ton of, um, mob life points. I'm just going to use myself because I don't think we're going to get super, super far, uh, into blood magic. Um, I, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But let's start off by making some more runes of self-sacrifice. And the first thing I'm going to need is this guy, the Apprentice Blood Orb. And then I'll need some glowstone and some smooth stone, which I should have. I did have to run into the nether to get some more of that as well. Uh, so let's see. We'll do that, this, and that. And that gives me five more runes of self-sacrifice. So now we're up to a total of 12 runes, I believe, right? Yes, 12 runes. And we need a total of 20 to upgrade the altar to the next level. So, um, I suppose, hmm, yeah, 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 we're just, you know what, we're just gonna do it like this, this is fine. Um, now to do just regular plain old runes, I can do those right now, super easy, we'll just do this. I'm gonna be just a little bit short, aren't I? That's okay, it's fine. We'll go like that, put this here. Uh, I will drop two of those so we only get eight, and that should give us everything we need now to upgrade our altar. Um, although, we do need four blocks of glowstone and four blocks of anything else. I think I'm going to use witch wood. Uh, I think that'll look kind of cool. So, this thing is basically empty, which means I don't feel bad about tearing all this up. And we need to move this thing, because the Tier 3 Blood Altar takes a lot... Really? Please give me my 4 back. Thank you. Thank you so much, Minecraft gods, 
for favoring me in that little endeavor. Um, <laughs> uh, the tier three blood altar takes up a lot more space than the tier pl two blood altar. Like, it's pretty big. And we're going to grab... Oh, I already have it in my inventory. This book right here, Sanguine Scientium. Sanguine Scientium? However you pronounce it. Uh, this is basically the guidebook for blood magic. And what I need to make is a thing that looks like this. So, we need a essentially 7x7 seven seven area to do this. And I don't know where we've got a 7x7 seven seven area. I'm going to look around. Maybe up here. Do we have one up here somewhere? I mean, we've got all our all all our aura cascade stuff up here. That's not really a seven by seven, though. I suppose we could flatten some of this a little bit and make room. That wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, why don't I do that? I'm gonna clear out a little bit of space here, guys, and I'll come back to you in just a second. All right, guys, I am back. So I've cleared out this space right here, and I think this will be big enough. So, if we start here, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll tear out one extra on either side, one, two, three, four, five, tear out one here, there, and then turn it, that, I believe, will be big enough for our purposes. Pretty sure. So, that's good. Now, um, we will put our, we'll put these guys here. I'm just going to put a dirt block there so we can get our blood altar in place like that. We'll fill that around and that looks good. I think that's all good. And then we'll start putting down our other runes. So we'll go something like this. We'll put that one there. And then everything else will just fill in with regular runes. And this is currently a tier zero altar? Why are you tier zero? I don't know why this is tier zero. That's weird. Um, it doesn't need a block under it, does it? I didn't think it did. No? Oh, okay. There we go. Tier two. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's just looking a little derp. It's uh, it's all good. Okay, so we'll put this here. It just said tier zero because there was nothing in it. Okay, so we'll do that. Now, the next thing that we need to do, is it up two? Yeah, up two. We'll go ahead and go one and up two like this. And I think this will actually look pretty cool just as far as materials go. And more importantly, this should give us a tier three blood altar. So when I do that, yeah, there we go. Tier three altar and we're pulling in 400 LP per heart, which is awesome. Now, it still only holds 10,000 LP, which isn't a huge amount, uh, all things considered, but still a very important upgrade and still a very, very useful upgrade for us. So no complaints, not going to complain about it, but could use a little prettying up. I mean, it's not the most beautiful altar in the world, but you know what? It works. It's fine. It'll do for the time being. Let's take a look at our HQM book one more time. I don't think, yeah, we didn't get anything for that, um, but if we can make a tier three blood orb, then we get this reward. We need 25,000 LP and a block of gold, though, and that's a lot. That's like a lot, a lot. Uh, so if we're going to attempt that, we definitely want to make sure that that thing is completely full before we even start, or bad things will happen. Uh, let's go basic regen. There we go. And I could swap another one of these guys out. I mean, we could do 
another one of these um, uh, runes of self-sacrifice. I mean, if we could get 20 runes of self-sacrifice, that would be an additional, let's see, 20, 400. That'd be like 600, uh, 600 LP per heart. Uh, and if we could get eight of them, holy cow, that'd be a lot of LP. I mean, that would be awesome. So I might work towards that. I probably, hmm. I think that would probably be worth doing um, before we go for that other blood orb. Just because I don't, I don't think I could pull it off right now. I don't think I've got the health regen. Maybe I do. I don't know. Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. Let's do that. Let's drain this. So we can dump about 4,000 LP in there. But the question is, how quickly can we recover it? That is the real question. I suppose I could make more health potions. That might be the way to go. Just make some more health potions and restore my health that way. And I've got the regen spell on top of that. I think we could probably pull it off. It'd be close, but I think we could do it. And we can put 800, or uh, we can keep, we can make sure that this thing is full before we actually attempt it. There we go. That thing is completely full. So that's 10,000 of the 25,000 we'd need. And then I just need to be able to generate another 15,000, which I think I could do with enough, enough preparation. So let me get some, let me do some preparatory work here, guys, and I'll come back to you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back. So I figure if I get 20 runes of self-sacrifice up there and then I use the uh, incense stuff that we kind of got into maybe last episode, not too long ago, a couple episodes ago, whenever it was, I don't remember exactly. If we use that plus our healing... I think we'll be okay. I think we'll have what we need to make this work. So, we're going to give it a go. We're going to try it and hope it works. That's that's the plan. So, I'm going to make nine more runes of self-sacrifice. That will allow me to complete kind of that whole bottom section. Those chickens are so annoyingly loud. Ugh. Um... Let's go ahead and use this real quick. We're also going to want some more food, I think. That should be good. And then I need a block of gold. And then we need this incense stuff. Now, I've never used this, so I don't know how it works very well. But um, at least my understanding is that... Let's just see. Does this have a UI? It doesn't. Okay. So I'm assuming that I right-click it with the whatever thing I'm using, like the wood ash or the beerus or whatever it is, and then it starts working. That's that's what I'm hoping anyway. Oh, I'm not close enough. All right. We need to get this thing all the way to full before we start. Let's use our basic regen spell. And let's put this guy down right here. And hopefully, hopefully this will work. Oh, and, right, we need to swap these out for the runes that we just made. That would have been disastrous. There would have been massive, massive amounts of face palmage, I'm sure. Okay, so that's all good. Let's finish healing up. I want to let my mana regen as well. And we're going to go for it. So, let's use this. I have a feeling that that will work better. Throw this in here. It's going to start draining like mad. Wow. Um, okay, let's go. Let's use our basic regen. Get that going as well. How much does this... Okay, gives us about 500. Let's just drain this 
down to about there. Use our basic regen again. The goal here is to get... I mean, that's a, that's a lot of LP. That's a massive amount of LP. So, hopefully this works. Um, burn you as well. Oh, wow, this thing's almost out already. That's not good. Regen! Regen faster! Oh, I don't know that this is going to work. I might run out of LP entirely. I think I'm going to. I should have prepared better. I should have made potions. Uh, okay. Well, maybe it won't reset all the way back. Maybe it'll just kind of reset part of the way. Maybe I'll just lose some of the progress. I mean, obviously, I don't want to die while I'm doing this, because that would be bad. So, let's just try and see. I... <sighs> hmm. We'll keep our regen going. I don't know how much progress I lose if I run out of blood essence, or if I run out of life essence completely. I don't know if I lose all of my progress, or if I lose just some of it. Hmm. Well, let me keep at it, guys, and I'll see if we can get our hands on a better blood orb. I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back, and I have been plump I have been pumping blood into this thing. Um, I've probably put, oh, I don't know, 50, 60,000 LP into this, and I think it's resetting back farther than I'm progressing at every time I attempt. So I think my best bet is probably going to be to refill the altar and um, maybe not necessarily start over entire. Well, yeah, basically refill the altar and start over entirely, uh, do some preparations a little bit more, get some instant health potions, for example, um, and maybe some runes of capacity, because we do have a few. We've got like the runes of augmented capacity, uh, which we can make using tier three, uh, and then we've got the runes of superior capacity as well, Although those need a tier 4 altar, so those are a little bit out of reach. But, I believe the runes of augmented capacity will increase the LP that the altar can hold by like 1,150 or something like that. So if we got 8 of those, that would boost our capacity up to about 25, uh, about 20,000 instead of 10,000. And then we could definitely pull it off, because we only need 25,000 to actually upgrade the altar. So I think that might be the way to go instead. Um, but I think that's going to have to wait for a later episode, guys, because I am definitely out of time for this one. We did go ahead and get a Tier 3 altar, though. So that's definitely progress. But that's going to do it for me. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching and I'll definitely see you next time.